and over 250 million people suffering from this disease worldwide, autoimmunity is becoming a prevalent and concerning health problem. It's when the immune system becomes uncoordinated and it begins attacking itself. Certain nutrient deficiencies are almost always at play. Vitamin D is arguably one of the most powerful nutrients that's responsible for modulating and coordinating the immune system. In autoimmune disease, the immune system has a hard time differentiating from self and non-self or foreign invaders. The vitamin D helps the immune system to make this important distinction and this reduces autoimmune disease formation. Vitamin D deficiency is vastly common in our society due to sunscreen use and low amounts of sun exposure. On top of this, the average diet is severely lacking in dietary sources of vitamin D, such as organ meats and certain fish. Sunlight is by far the best way to optimise your vitamin D levels. Not only does the sun exposure to sunlight help produce vitamin D in its sulphated form, it might have unique benefits to the body in addition to the supplemental vitamin D. Our ancestors frequently ate organ meats in their diet, like liver, and these were dense sources of vitamin D. Other great sources of dietary vitamin D are wild fish like the sockeye salmon and sardines. To get the vitamin D levels into the therapeutic range of 50 to 100 nanomoles per litre, it's typically recommended additional supplementation along with vitamin K2. Some people prefer using a liquid liposomal vitamin D3 K2 mixture for optimal absorption. For the vitamin D levels, it's recommended to take 1,000 to 2,000 international units for every 25 pounds of body weight in cases of autoimmunity. Zinc is another critical nutrient for the healthy immune function. Proper zinc levels help to support the thymus gland and the formation of T helper cells, which are vital for coordination of the immune system. Studies have shown chronically low zinc levels can result in atrophy of the thymus gland, which leads to poor T helper cell maturation and an imbalance in the Th1, Th2 branches of the immune system. It's this immune imbalance that contributes to chronic inflammation and autoimmune disease. The recommended daily intake of zinc is 12 mg per day, but typically you see the best results with an intake of 30 to 60 mg. The top dietary sources of zinc by far are oysters, with about 29.75 mg per 3.5 ounce servings. The next best is sprouted pumpkin seeds, which have about 7 mg of zinc per 3.5 ounce serving. Finally, liver and pasteurised lamb and beef are other great sources of dietary zinc. While there's many great food sources of zinc, it's usually recommended to supplement with about 20 to 40 milligrams of zinc glycinate per day in cases of autoimmune disease. The zinc glycinate specifically is used because it's very absorbable, while the glycine molecule provides additional anti-inflammatory benefits. Glutathione is the most powerful antioxidant in the body. It acts as an antioxidant on its own, while also regulating other antioxidants. In addition to the antioxidant benefits, it supports healthy detoxification. These actions help to lower inflammation drastically, which is a major factor in autoimmune conditions. Glutathione has been identified as playing a major role in white blood cell formation and immune system regulation. For these reasons, glutathione has been identified as a key nutrient in the battle against autoimmune disease. Boosting glutathione levels to the optimal range comes down to three things. Diet, lifestyle and supplementation. The top foods for boosting glutathione are non-denatured grass-fed whey protein, organ meats, sprouts, sulfurous foods like garlic, onions and cruciferous vegetables, as well as herbs like turmeric, ginger and milk thistle. These foods provide the building block for the glutathione production within the body. There are several lifestyle factors that can affect the glutathione production. These include things like getting more sleep, adequate exercise, healthy sun exposure and avoiding environmental toxins. In terms of supplementation, there's things like selenium, N-acetylcysteine and alpha-lipoic acid and these have been shown to boost the glutathione production within the body. In many cases, it's possible that the body has an inhibited ability to make its own glutathione and in these cases, you should take S-acetylglutathione as this crosses through the gut and gets right into the cells in the body. Pure glutathione gets destroyed by digestion, while the acetylated form does a much better job at passing through the digestive tract. 
you can also check out my video on making liposomal vitamin C and use this method to make a liposomal glutathione. Omega-3 fatty acids play an important role in reducing autoimmune disease. In most cases, there's a significant imbalance of the fatty acids in the body. In the standard American diet, there's a high consumption of the inflammatory omega-6 fatty acids, while there's insufficient intake of the omega-3 fatty acids. An elevated omega-6 level compared to an omega-3 is significantly associated with systemic inflammation, and this is indicated in most autoimmune disorders. Another important dietary aspect to focus on is getting healthy fats in general. The standard American diet is full of problematic fat sources that are highly inflammatory. When it comes to boosting your omega-3 levels, there's two ways to do it, through omega-3 rich foods or with high quality supplements. You should focus on DHA and EPA omega-3s because they have the most profound impact on healing autoimmunity. Top food sources of these fatty acids are Alaskan sockeye salmon, sardines and anchovies. Another common denominator that's found in autoimmune patients is they almost always have some kind of bacterial imbalance within the gut. Having a healthy bacterial balance is key to having a healthy digestive tract and proper immune function. Dysbiosis is also heavily associated with inflammation and this can directly promote autoimmunity. The microbiome connection to autoimmunity is being investigated for the clinical treatment. Unfortunately, the modern day lifestyles have many things that destroy the good bacteria in our gut, like municipal tap water, pesticides in crops, artificial sweeteners, antibiotics, processed foods, alcohol, etc. So the first priority is to work on getting these microbiome destroying toxins out of our lives, then to repopulate the gut with healthy bacteria. Probiotics can be delicate in autoimmune cases because many patients can be pretty reactive to many foods. That's why it's recommended to start with a supplemental probiotic over fermented foods. For these cases, start with a broad spectrum probiotic because it can work really well to set a solid foundation of the microbiota in the gut. This probiotic can be used for one to three months before cycling to another lactic acid based probiotic. Best results can be seen when cycling probiotics every one to three months as it helps to maintain a diverse microbiome full of many different strains of good bacteria. To learn more about specific autoimmune conditions, herbs, supplements and natural treatments or to book a consultation, check out my website.